The third step in the web development process is registering a domain name. This step is optional and only needed if you require a uniquely identifiable web address such as google.com. If you do not register a domain name, your site can still be made publicly accessible using your web server's IP address. The IP address will be assigned to you regardless of the type of web hosting solution you decide to use. Both traditional and cloud hosting providers will assign you the IP upon registration of hosting services. A domain name is highly recommended if you plan on marketing your website or building brand awareness. The name is very easy to register and there are many companies offering registration services. These companies are known as registrars. In addition to the registrar, we also have registries which maintain the domain name records that are registered. If you wanted to register example.com, you could request the name through a registrar. The registrar will check with the relevant registry to see if the name already exists or if it's available. If example.com is available for registration, your registrar will add it to the .com registry on your behalf. The organization that coordinates registrars and administers the top-level domain registry is known as ICANN, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. ICANN also manages a list of approved registrars. The term top-level domain refers to the most common and most, most sought-after domain name extensions such as .com, .net, .org, and several others. For information purposes, .com is an abbreviation for commercial or for profit, uh, .net for network, and .org for organization, non-for-profit. Choosing an extension that is relevant to your business model is always a good practice. Note that the registry for CC top-level domains, which stands for Country Code top-level domains, are administered independently of ICANN. CC TLDs include extensions such as .jp for Japan or .us for United States. These domain extensions are managed according to the relevant oversight and governance mechanisms within the country.